Hi guys, this is Vidur. I'm a senior system engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And in this video, we will try to understand the concept of auto provisioning of the access points. Right. This particular feature is very useful for all the network admins who are trying to deploy the, the Mist access points on the field. And this, this saves a lot of time for all of them and, and makes life really, really easy. So we usually have uh, templates for easy provisioning of access points when assigned to sites. We, we all know that. Uh, auto provisioning will make this process even simpler. You know, truly one click for API assignment to sites and getting the relevant configuration. With this feature, any AP can be shipped to any site and installers need not do anything other than install the APs on the ceiling, right? So before we uh, discuss more about this, let's just jump into the dashboard and understand how this can be done and where this needs to be done. The auto provisioning feature has three keys, key functionalities. One is the site assignment, then is the device profile assignment, and then is the AP name generation. Okay, I'll, we'll, we'll discuss about this, uh, you know, as we move along in the video. So this is the this is my home org, as all as you can all see. You've, you've seen this in the other videos as well. So where we need to configure auto provisioning is, is something which you need to know. In the organization tab here, there's something called settings, right? I'll just zoom in a bit so that you see what I'm doing. In the org tab, I click on settings here. This will take me to the settings section of the organization. Here I have an option of auto provisioning, right? Now this, fun this, this particular auto provisioning feature has three functionalities as I said, site assignment, AP name generation, device profile assignment. Now mind you guys, the site assignment will work on all the APs that are not assigned to any site at the moment. This has to be done for all the APs which are in the unassigned state. Claimed in the org, but unassigned state. AP name generation and device profile assignment. These two features are only you know, put or are only applied to the APs which are assigned to, the, to, to any site. Okay, This is pre-assignment, these are post-assignments. So we'll just quickly see as to where we can figure out and where we can see the APs are assigned or not. Uh, once we go in the uh, networks or the inventory tab, uh, uh, so the organization and the inventory tab, we'll see a few APs, you know, you might see a few APs. I have only one AP in my home right now. So in the claim AP button here, I can click on claim AP and I get this particular page, right? What this means is I can actually enter my claim code click on add something here and uncheck this, this box which means all the APs and then I can click on claim here which means all the APs in this particular claim code will be will be in the unassigned state and not assigned to any site out here okay so the pay, the AP should should be here and the site should be unassigned as we all know okay once this is done we can go to the settings tab here and again come back to uh, configure auto provisioning once i click on that i will be taken to this particular page so for this video i will only give you one example uh, which i used in one of my recent deployments uh, for for the other two uh, ap name generation and, and profile assignments you can actually uh, visit the link i'm going to paste in the in the in the video description which will take you to the mist site where this document has been created for your benefit go through that and you will understand more about how ap name generation will work and how profile assignment will work but in this video i will try to cover one option of of site assignment and how we can do that for for our uh, for for our customers or for our own site so i i'm going to give you the example of what i went through in one of our deployments recently in india okay so uh, if you enable this which means this is going to give you an option for uh, selecting the ap name or uh, LLDP system name, DNS suffix, DNS, uh, DNS suffix uh, subnet mask or AP model. So which means I am kind of assuming that any one of these parameters is, is unique to your particular site. Okay. So now what it what it really means is, you know, if, if there, there could be a unique AP name. So all my sites have AP names which are different from each other or all the sites have different LLDP system names. All the sites have different DNS suffix. Uh, DNS suffix. All the sites have different subnet mask of the access points, or all the sites have different AP models. For example, I may have one corporate site, I may have one uh, warehouse site. In you know, in the corporate office, I use a different model. In the warehouse uh, of 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 my company, I use a different model of access point. So based on that, I can I can I can use these options. But for this uh, for this example, I'm going to choose the option for subnet mask. Click on this, 
and then I'm gonna define okay for my I'm for my warehouse site you know what uh, for my test site I'm using the subnet mask of 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 or dot zero slash 24 which means all the all the uh, access points once they are mounted on the once they're mounted on the ceiling they will of course receive and receive the IP address from the switches or from the DSCP server and they will go and hit the cloud but they are still in, still in the unassigned state right uh, what I did was I just created an created an option here which will tell the dashboard okay all the APs with the subnet mask this push it to the test site for me now if I have if I have one more site I'll add one more row I'll say okay uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 30 assign it to the site with your home and or if we have one more I have two sites in this so I'm just going to use two examples but I can actually add more and more rows depending on how many sites I already have created in my dashboard recently for for a customer we used five different sites and all their sites had different dash different different subnet masks for the access points and they had around thousand APs being pushed to uh, five different sites so what I did was we, we basically got on a call and, and, and did the same similar configuration and hit OK. Once I do that, the APs will automatically be pushed to the right uh, site based on the subnet masks of the APs. Right. This is very, very important because now we all we need to worry is just to go on site and mount the APs on the, on, on the ceiling and we can do the, do the provisioning from this particular page. Similar to this, I have the option of AP name generation and profile assignment these two are done once the APs are already assigned to the different sites that we wanted to assign to okay but this is pre-assignment so and this is only assigned to the access points which are in the unassigned state right now that's this is what this this feature is is you know really used for and this is very very critical because I have seen this save multiple days of time for for different IT vendors or uh, for different IT managers out there who used this and now uh, their life is very easy so for any customer or any any uh, any organization out there who wants to deploy uh, who have multiple sites and and wants to deploy hundreds of APs thousand APs or you know any number use this feature and this is going to make you make your life very very easy right for now I'm going to cancel it and go back to the home page uh, this is what I wanted to cover in this particular video guys thank you so much for joining and I hope you learned something if you learned something, uh, you know, feel free to share your, your feedback in the comments and I will be more than happy to address any questions also if there are. If there are. Uh, thank you so much guys once again for joining and I hope you have a great day.